Hey, what's up, good people? How you doing? Hey, uh, the stock market, let's talk about it. But first, you guys know already, just go ahead, take your pretty finger, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. My name is Larry Jones. Uh, this is the family known as Stock Up. And when I mean by the family, all of the followers are part of the family. We all help each other eat, okay? Remember, anything I say is not a suggestion to buy, hold, or sell. And be careful of spam by spammers in the comments section, okay? At the end of this video, I want you guys to check out all of my links, okay? So we're going to cover that at the, at the end. Hey, I got my good friend Josh Nichols. We're right there at that camera to the left now. This is Technical Tuesdays. We're going to keep this one moving uh, really quick. And then at the end of this video, I want you to go over to Stocks with Josh and make sure you subscribe to his page and hit the notification bell, okay? Um, there, is a, there is a link in, in my description below also for, you'll see a camera, and it says Stocks with Josh, all right? So I'm going to open up by saying, hey, the market was crazy on yesterday. So yesterday, you know, the market was tanking, tanking, tanking. And then all of this stuff started happening. Elon, you know, the board of Twitter says, hey, we're going to accept your bid. And then the whole market comes up, right? But today, Tuesday, the market is like, so like I was saying before the whole uh, Twitter Elon thing. And so now we're back to tanking again, you know, and it was short lived. Like I said, this will be short lived. And now the market is back to where it is. And we already know, if you've been following the page, what's the biggest threat to the market? The Fed, right? And it's the Fed, the Fed, the Fed. And so, so today, we're actually going to cover um, two uh, of some, well, one stock and one crypto that I asked Josh to uh, pull up and we're going to chart. That stock is going to be Twitter <laughs> and that crypto is going to be Solana. So go ahead and address the people. Well, hey, hi guys. We're gonna run some fast uh, technicals on Twitter and Solana today. Um, we're gonna just start off, have a brief conversation with you about yes. Twitter, okay? Yeah, let's talk so, about Twitter. you know, Twitter, uh, Elon bought Twitter, right? Yep. And a lot of people don't know that it has really not uh, been uh, a very profitable company. No. Only in recent years has it actually made a profit, even though it's been around since I believe 2006. I'm not, you can, don't mm -hmm. quote me on that year. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so, you know, he's jumped into this and uh, um, we're going to look at the charts. Right. We're going to see a lot of volume has come in. Yes. We're going to see that the price has run up. But yep. we got to ask ourselves, is this a good investment going forward? Right. Now, now, I don't know your answer yet. I actually posted my answer yesterday. So, but I don't know Josh's answer yet. So we're going to see, we may go head to head on this and may disagree, but because we disagree, it causes, it stretches us and we learn from each other. Yeah. Well, I'm going to, I agree with you, Larry. I'm mm -hmm. going to say this, that, um, the only bet in Twitter that I see right now mm -hmm. is, is if Elon can actually uh, turn this company around. Right. The company is hot. They've got a great product, but right. they're going to get a lot. They're getting a lot more pressure. Yes. Social media. This is not the day for social media. Oh, social media at large is tanking. Look at what's happening to Facebook, and then you have some crossover from social media to streaming, right? Yeah. And so social media and streaming is tanking. Elon paid top dollar for this company. Forty-four billion. A company that might that some people could argue was in distress. Yeah. I'm going to throw out a name, a crypto name that may, a lot of people maybe never heard of. It's a company called Deso. Yeah. This stands for it's D E S O, and it stands for decentralized social media, right? Yeah. And on the heels of these large media companies like Facebook and Twitter and and all of them. Yeah. Uh, is coming behind them sort of the storm brewing, yep. right? Yeah. And that's, that's, that's the decentralized, uh, non-regulated um, uh, social media. Yes. Right? Yeah. So Elon's going to have to bring Twitter into that world to right. move forward and be successful. Yeah. I will tell you this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look you in the camera and tell you this. You guys know I don't have a dog in the race when it comes to politics. I hate politics. I hate CNN, I hate Fox News, I hate the Democratic Party, I hate the Republican Party. I am because it's just so, just bad. It's just bad, right? So I'm an independent, but I will tell you this. Donald Trump will be back on Twitter. 
I he listen. This is a prediction. This is a prediction. Two people I know that cannot stay away from the camera. Jesse Jackson <laughs> never saw a camera he didn't like, and Donald Trump never saw a tweet that he's he that will he didn't be want back. To tweet <laughs> exactly. He will be back. So we can debate that when it happens, but it will happen. He's not going to stay away from Twitter. So I believe that's coming. Okay. Well, hey, let's go to the charts and let's okay. uh, see what they tell me. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. All right, fam, uh, we're looking at Twitter, and I'm just going to point out the areas of very strong resistance. Uh, we're at that. We're at $52. That's a very strong resistance. It's a historic uh, uh, place. We, it took us you know, a number of times back here in the day to break over it. When we finally broke over $52, we had a big run up. But eventually, we've come and broke down against it, and now we've hit it twice, and we're dead in the water. Um, I am uh, impressed with the amount of volume that we see in Twitter, but I'll tell you that what this volume attracts is not necessarily long-term investors. We have to ask ourselves, is this volume here, and you know, it's really going to attract those day traders. Now, could the day traders push this up against this line of support that I drew? Could we, could we curve back? hit this line of support and go all the way up to 60. Yes, but I can just warn you, and our trading is different. The type of trading that Larry and I talk about is, is different because we're talking to uh, investors, a little bit longer term investors. If you, you, if you wanted to trade something like Twitter today, uh, then you would need to, to be sitting at your computer with your button on the cell uh, to be able to catch this type of run up. So we could run from 52 to 60, but we would probably come down just as fast. So, I mean, that's, that's my quick overview. We're at, we're at resistance. We have a stronger level of resistance above. I think that Elon bought a company that he is going to have to uh, reinvent. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Um, I do too. And I also believe that Elon is brilliant enough to reinvent. Yeah. But you got to understand, this is a company that he was like talking about, which I agree with Elon Stan. If I'm, I'm about freedom of speech, unfortunately. So freedom of speech is allowing someone that does not agree with you to have their say. And I'm about freedom of speech. Well, if we're going to look at what life there is in Twitter, then throw me back in the charts and I'll give people a there potential buy. Okay, guys, if you said, hey, I'm, I just want to get on board with what Elon is up to, um, then I wouldn't touch this until we came back to this level, the, 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 the mid-30s, okay? That's, that's where this would become attractive to me. It's not attractive in this massive run-up. I'm going to throw on uh, these fib bands for you guys so you can understand some more of my logic when it comes to charting. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to briefly get rid of these. So I don't know if you guys can see on these charts this this fib band. We're on the if we take this last run up, okay? When you get outside of the fib band on the outside of the outermost band, you always come back in, okay? Right now in this current environment, we're up on the outside, and when you go to the outside, you you more than likely will come back in and test the middle. The middle for that would be all the way to $38. So, um, yeah, so a potential buy would be 36. I would avoid this at the moment with the run up. Yep. Uh, and that's why I'm not touching it because it's just too late. And I, I, I'm just, I've never owned Twitter. I've never, I know people that have some friends. I just have never owned it. Never I have never traded Twitter it, either. And I currently don't have it. I'm not chasing this bull either. All right. So let's keep it going. And hey, I know that, you know, the, the, the plan is the plan was to take the cover company private. Right. But I believe there's going to be some SEC problems with it uh, because of the way that Elon filed. He filed the wrong file. Now, a billionaire, the richest man in the world with a whole team is <laughs> not going to file the wrong filing paper. You know, that's not going to happen. Some good logic. I Absolutely. Agree with you. This was all planned. Absolutely. Right. So I'm going to hey, leave it at Go actually, ahead. you know, as I'm sitting here and this is so uh, spur of the moment, yeah. if you wanted to make this Twitter play, I actually would recommend uh, buying Doge because a commitment because because yeah. what Elon getting into this uh, large product. Yes. It to me is entirely about his social media. Play. Right. Right. You know, as a matter of fact, I would agree with that. And you guys know I'm not a Doge bull. No, we don't, we're not Doge shillers. At all. I don't own any Doge, right? I got in Doge 
made a gang of money in a week and got out. But I will tell you, I think that Tesla will pay a price and I think that Doge has the potential to go up. I think Tesla will pay a short term price for this move because a lot of people are going to see this as a distraction. Yeah. Yeah. No, right? it's a very And then he point. has to sell some of his shares of Tesla to make this deal come together. All right. So there's a lot going on with that. It's a good overview. I liked it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hopefully you guys liked it. <laughs> let's go to uh, let's move over to crypto because what's coming back on my radar? Solana. All right. So I'm going to let you go and then I'm going to show my chart. You go with yours first. OK. Hey, let's talk about Solana real quick. Um, again, I have the FIB bands up and they kind of show you what I was talking about a moment ago where we hit the outside of the FIB band. Whenever you hit the outside of the FIB band, it wants to come back home, as I like to say. We were outside here. We came back in. We were outside here. We came back in. So we were outside here. We came back in. And we're going to probably, at bare minimum, come back and hit this white line, this lower white line, which would put uh, Solana at around $90. I think you could possibly get it for $88. Uh, Larry and I have covered uh, before that we you know, find Solana attractive long term below 100 and that it becomes, as you get down from, to, from 95, 90 to 85, it just is more appealing. So I think that I, I would be surprised if we tested the very low of the range, which would be the the high 70s and low 80. But I would not be surprised if we get down to 90 on this. So I would say that uh, we could shave off another seven dollars before putting uh, more money into Solana right now. OK, so uh, I agree with you. And it's funny. Um, I am slightly agreeing with you. I'm adjusting. I'm looking at where I am right now. Here, let's just go to my screen. So, um, I say 90. Um, I say 90 to 92. Okay. Uh, so I agree with you, but when it comes to, um, when it comes to Solana, it's easy for me. 88 again. I'm down, I'm back at 88. Wait, it will. Not if. It will go back down to 88 again. Well, that did kind of look yeah. close to where I yeah. saw a potential of touching. Exactly. And so this is, Solana is a patient game to me. I just wait. I wait it out. And sometimes you may have to wait 30, 60, 90 days. But it always hits. And so 88, I'm buying more as a, so a, a level of support. And we do know that it doesn't take a lot for crypto to go from 90 to 88. It, it happens no. overnight. Yeah. And so I would say wait and then start to DCA in again. Leave me a comment if uh, our Solana plays have been working for you. And then we're just going to wait it out right there. Okay. So, hey, let's, uh, let's just let's cap it off right there. Good people. Listen, uh, Google and Microsoft reports tonight. And let's see what that does for the overall market. You, you saw, you clearly saw uh, what Twitter did for the market yesterday. So Google and Microsoft, I believe they report tonight at closing bell, right? So here's what I want to say about them closing at closing bell. Who could trade at closing bell? Institutions, right? Or those of us that could trade pre and post market. Now, if you click those links below, you can trade pre and post market with Weeble. Deposit one cent. They still have the promotion going on and get up to uh, five free stock worth up to $9,600. Now, we also have Moomoo because that's where we're cashing up and getting ready for the upcoming recession. But I was corrected on Moomoo, right? So on Moomoo, you get up to five free stock and each one of those stocks are worth up to $3,500 a piece, but you have to deposit $100 in that. So what I want you guys to do is if you've opened a Moomoo account, if you click my link below where you can partake of the special, then I want you to just simply put $100 in there and you're not going to touch it right now. We're just going to save it. It's going to be our savings account. And then we are going to share with the family 
what we're going to do as we continue to add money into both accounts. We have given both of these accounts purpose. We have a purpose for Weeble and we have a purpose for Moo Moo and we're going to make money, all right? Hey, we're gonna leave it right there. Make sure you guys check out the links below and uh, download those links. Let me see here, a boom, let's do that. Let's do that and there we go, all right. Hey, and also too, you're gonna go over to who? Stocks with Josh, and in the few, uh, tomorrow you're gonna see Wall Street Wednesdays. Uh, Larry and I are gonna put that together. We're gonna do 10 uh, stocks or cryptos in 10 minutes. We're gonna try. We're, we're gonna challenge ourselves to see if we can get through some fundamentals and technicals on 10 stocks in 10 minutes, and you guys will see that tomorrow. All right, all right, good people, that's it. And uh, remember, uh, uh, make sure to take some notes from this video and make sure to go join us over at Stocks with Josh. We'll see you later. Live, love, laugh, and learn.